everyone, it's Amy aka Mr Bobby's Models here and today I have some very exciting footage. I actually managed to find briars in a store in the UK. This is a pretty rare occurrence. You don't see briars much at all in the UK. I was so excited to have found these. The store that I went to sold briars online so I kind of assumed that they would have some in store, but I didn't know how many they would have in store or how big the briar section would be. But I was really pleasantly surprised when I got there. So I took some videos and I did buy some ponies and I will show you those at the end. So yes, I hope you enjoy this video. This guy. You can be able to do this when you go to work. I know. He's cute. Everyone likes this mold, but I don't like it very much. I think the face is a little bit weird. <laughs> I have this is the same mold that the snow you know the one I got like on Christmas Eve? Mm -hmm. Um, with the snowmen on it, the blue and white one. Oh, yeah. That's this. Ooh. Same mod as this one. So cute. I don't, don't know which ones I like. The chops. All the chops they do. Hmm? The tricks that they do. I know. So these are the models that I decided to come home with. We have a little stable mate who is the pearl unicorn single stable mate. And then we have this traditional who is the American paint horse from the ideal horse series that Briar is doing. I'll give you some quick close-ups of each of them. So this is the stable mate. She is absolutely stunning. I've always wanted one on this mold. Uh, I think it's such a pretty mold. I'm glad they released it in plastic because it was originally a porcelain mold. I just really like her colour and they had a few in stock so I was able to pick which one I wanted which was really really nice. This guy absolutely stole my heart. I fell in love with him in the shop and I couldn't leave without him. He is not usually the type of horse that I go for, but there's just something about him that I think is really pretty and I really like his sweet little face. So he came home with me. He does sadly have quite a few flaws, but I was just so in love with him. I couldn't leave him behind whether he had flaws or not. One of his, two of his biggest flaws are actually kind of funny because I didn't notice them in the store. And I genuinely thought they were markings. So one of them is this here. This is actually a scrape and it's taken the paint off. But it literally looks like some markings. Um, and then this one here is also a scrape. And again, I just thought it was a marking. I might etch them to make them a little more neat. Um, but I might leave them alone. It's funny because I actually picked this guy partly because I really liked his markings and I thought his markings were really unique and I actually really liked this whole thing. So I'm actually not bothered by the scratches, uh, which is again, very rare for me because normally I would be really upset with scratches that big on a model, but I actually like them and they just make him unique. He was actually on sale. So he was the cheapest traditional in the shop, uh, which worked out really well for me because he's the one that I brought home. His offside is absolutely stunning. I don't think I've really seen his offside before actually buying him. So that was really exciting. I just re I really like him. He's a really nice color, really nice markings. And he has a very sweet face. It's a very gentle face. I like it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching my shopping experience and seeing my little haul. I am honestly so grateful I got to experience briar shopping in person. 
and I'm going to treasure these models for a very long time. They are very special to me. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!